Let's say you've had a performance appraisal with your manager and he or she had great things to talk about you, but there was one thing that they're not happy about. Now, what happens is that in the moment, you will start feeling bad because you'll start thinking about that one thing that's not going well. The mind has or the brain has a negativity bias, which will take you there. Now, what will happen is after that, for hours, for days or even weeks, you might start feeling so bad, uh, so negative, so anxious, so stressed, uh, blaming yourself, feeling very negative that you don't have a chance in your life, that your success is ruined, your boss doesn't like you, that you are to blame, etc, etc. That might happen, right? So as per Buddha, yes, Buddha, there are two arrows in action here, two arrows of suffering. The first is when the incident itself, where your boss itself gives you the bad news, that happens. The second arrow or the second set of arrows are the ones we point at ourselves afterwards, where there is endless anxiety, suffering, self-blame, grief, that negative circle or a cycle that we become a part of, that we take ourselves through for hours, days and even weeks. Now, that second suffering is not helpful, neither productive. It, uh, you know, drains a lot of mental, physical and spiritual energy. Now, uh, we want to work on the feedback. So that is where focus on the first arrow, focus on what's not working and how you can quickly get out of the situation rather than be in the endless unproductive cycle of the second arrows of suffering. Does that make sense? If yes, give me a thumbs up.